My name is Marcy J. Duncan, and I'm a professor here at the University of West Florida. And we are getting ready to open pretty soon here, uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. We have an eight foot lion puppet that we're incorporating into this production. And it really speaks to the whole department working together to make this story come alive. Um, we were awarded a grant to uh, fund the building of the lion. And the lion was given an opportunity to be constructed through the engineering department. Well, I'm Kevin Gallup, and I'm what's called a program manager for mechanical engineering. Uh, my job is generally to assist uh, people with projects that need help on, you know, like what kind of process to use, what kind of materials and stuff like that. So as it just happens to turn out, I've made a lion very similar in size at the Old Dominion University a number of years ago and uh, have the process down to quickly and accurately make this thing uh, because we, we don't have much time. And so we had a lot of cooperation between departments at UWF so that we could assemble all the necessary pieces of equipment. I love the opportunity to um, link arm in arm, if you will, with other departments in our university. It all started with a design and one of our students, Becca, designed this beautiful lion. Well, my name's Becca Hall, and I'm a BFA design tech major, emphasis on costumes, so I work a lot with the theater department. And I have a little bit of experience in puppetry just because back home, like, I worked with, like, a puppet ministry at my church. And so I was mostly involved with just kind of deciding how it was going to look while the engineering handled all the, the specifics of it. Uh, I'm Alex Ardwin. I'm a senior in the mechanical engineering program at UWF and kind of been working on helping fabricate and design some of the, uh, the armature that uh, makes up the structure of the lion. So the frame of the lion is constructed entirely out of aluminum. Um, we've got one center spar that we use to kind of hang all of these different ribbed sections out of that kind of make the exterior shape of the lion. And then from there we, we took those ribs reinforce one to another, kind of make us a, a solid, almost like a girdle. The lion is going to have two actors in it, a front and a back person. We're having to cut out sections where the actors will slip in and fit, where they'll operate the front and hind legs and, you know, the head and tail and everything. The, the legs were cut with this pink stuff that's behind me, and the head were cut with a CNC, and that's a computer numerical control machine that give you a rough shape, and then you have to refine it you know, by carving it and stuff. But it's really a complex shape. A lot of it is just kind of playing with it and like trying to refine and refine and refine because I've never carved anything that big before. So it's just really fun to like get my hands on it and learn through the process a little bit. We have 3D printed parts. I think you might be able to see the, the skull in green. So we have that modern technology that uh, greatly reduces the amount of time that we had to sculpt something. Also, when we were handed back the lion, our students were then able to make the lion more efficient for our purposes, to finesse it a little bit. You know, one of the wearers, Sam Kegley, who's voicing the lion, uh, was able to kind of get in there and say, hey, I, I need more flexibility with the head movements. What if we do X, Y, and Z? I'm concerned about my visibility. What if we do X, Y, and Z? The rear actor will operate the hind legs and then the tail. Uh, the front actor is going to operate the front legs and then there's gonna have some devices inside of the lion where they will be able to uh, manipulate the head and then the jaws of the lion a little bit. So, you know, as the character talks, they can make a talking motion, a roar, we open the, the mouth real wide and, and um, operate the head and really uh, and get more of an authentic feel to it. People don't necessarily like to say, think of art and engineering together. This piece has so much engineering in it. Uh, the art people can see the engineering close up to see, you know, some of the, how that works. And the engineers can see how the sculptural part works. And that's a nice fusion. Everybody has in their mind's eye their interpretation of this story. So by us making very specific choices, um, to really indulge in the magic, the whimsy of this story with costumes, with the set, with the eight-foot lion. <laughs> I think the audience then knows their part. 
they know now, okay, this is the reimagination of it. And so they buy in a lot quicker when they see you make a strong choice. And that's what we tried to do here with the technical components. And I'm really excited just to see how it's all gonna come together because I think it'll be a really, really cool thing. When I, I just really hope everyone's kind of awestruck when it comes on stage.